Hi, I'm Jenny Fish with One Big Happy Yarn Company and welcome to our Strawberry Fluff Knit Along. Strawberry Fluff, we'll be making two color brioche and two color brioche. We have two different kinds of yarn here, so I'll go over the supplies with you. And the supplies kind of lead to the name. So I've got two different yarns here. This is Bamboo Bloom from Universal Yarn, hand paints. And see the texture on here? We've got thick and thin. It is so fluffy. I love it. And then to even that out, I have Cascade 128 uh, or 128 Super Wash. Just a great little companion yarn to work along with this beautiful fluffy stuff. Okay, I want to show you these. So this is a red version. This is like a seafoam green teal. What made me name this Strawberry Fluff is Thanksgiving dinner, jello salad, anybody? Okay, it's hard coming up with names all the time. And when I picked out these colors, I was like, oh, that reminds me of pistachio salad and cranberry salad or strawberry salad. So strawberry fluff it is. But on our other version, because at OneBigHappy.com, we have the kits with the pattern and the yarn. You're gonna have a couple options. This is a more uh, luxurious one. But then we also have a basic, which is not so basic because this is cotton. So if you have issues with wool, we do have a cotton version and this is Juniper Moon Cumulus. And it is, uh, let's see, 94% cotton and then there's 6% nylon that helps it stay all together. But it's also super, soft and squishy and it's almost like a brushed cotton super but you'll see orange on here but not any orange in in the actual cowl the reason for this is this way down in the center that's the red that's where i started i worked from the center out and it only took me to here until i finished my cowl so that's why it may look like orange or it is orange <laughs> but i use the red on the inside and then i just use this blue color for my second color in the two color brioche. So that gives you some background on the yarn choices, the name. It, this is super basic two color brioche, so it's a great start if you've never worked brioche before. And I use a size eight circular needle with a 24 inch cord on it. Your others, tape measure, uh, tapestry needle, scissors, stitch marker, all your normal stuff are the rest of your supplies for this project. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about two color brioche. You're still knitting, don't worry, but it's a little bit of a technique of how you carry your yarn. And in brioche patterns, I will show you what it looks like as we go along, but when you're working the stitches, you'll see a burk and a bark, B-R-K and B-R-P. Be sure that when you see those symbols in your pattern, that you stop for a minute and think, okay, I'm doing brioche. This is not a normal knit stitch. I just wanna get that out way in the beginning because if you jump ahead and you get there before I'm there, you might get a little confused or a little messed up. So pay attention to exactly how those stitches are made and I'll show you those. Okay, now that I've got that disclaimer kind of out of the way, and I only say that because the first time I did brioche, I did not do it right. And it, yeah, that was the whole mistake. So make sure you understand how to make those two stitches in advance. Okay, casting on. I went ahead and cast on. You're gonna cast on 106 stitches. I cast on 26 here just to get us started. And I wanna point out the yarn. See how it goes thick and thin? That's fine. Just go ahead and work with it. As you see here on my needle, where I've gone ahead and cast on, the thick and the thin, I just roll with it. It does change your gauge, but only slightly. Not enough to matter with this pattern. So. If you're thinking, oh, but that's, don't worry about it, just let it go. We're learning technique here. And because it's a cowl, it's just gonna go over your shoulders. We're not as particular on gauge as like normal projects, like, you know, fitted garments. No, this is just an easy breezy, let's learn how to do this technique. Okay, so I've cast on. So you cast on your stitches. Then the next thing you need to do is what's called a setup round. You'll do this with almost all brioche projects. And this is so that we can get our stitches lined up the way they need to be so that we can work those brioche stitches. I just cast on, I'm turning over. Now, you're working in the round for this project, but for the 
For the cast on, you just cast your stitches on. For the setup round, we're gonna be working on the purl side of our work and then we'll go into working in the round. So it looks like I'm knitting flat back and forth because I haven't joined yet. I'm not gonna join until I get to round one. Okay, so we're gonna purl one, insert my needle, wrap my yarn around and purl. And then the next thing that we're gonna do, it, you're gonna see in the pattern as an SL1YO. Sounds like a lot of letters, SL1YO. It means slip one yarn over. You're doing both of those at the same time. That's why they're all together, no commas or anything to sort it out. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. You slip one just like this. I'm slipping the stitch from my left needle to my right needle and I'm yarning over, which means I bring my yarn over that stitch. Now my next stitch is a purl, so I'm gonna continue on and bring it to the front and purl the next stitch. Then I'm gonna SL1YO. <laughs> it's almost easier to say what it really is. Slip one yarn over. So to do that, I slip one and bring the yarn over. So I have crisscrossed that stitch as I've slipped it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that a few more times because it's a little different than what you're used to. So this last one was my purl stitch. I'm going to slip and yarn over at the same time, bring the yarn all the way around, purl the next stitch. I'll just show you that again. We're gonna slip, bring the yarn around, and purl. You'll get into a rhythm as you go along, but remember slip, bring the yarn around, and then purl the next stitch. Slip, bring the yarn around, and purl the next stitch. Now I'm gonna spread this out so you can get a real good look at what these stitches look like. Let me grab my pointer here. This is where I've purled the stitch. There's one loop there. This is the setup of the slip with the yarn over. These two pieces of yarn, these two strands, count as one stitch. So that's very helpful to know as we go into the next process. These two count as one stitch. That is your um, slipped stitch with the yarn over. So that's very important. But you're gonna go ahead and finish up the slip one yarn over, purl one, through 106 stitches all the way around. And then meet me back here for episode two, where I'll show you how to work rounds one and two of the two color brioche. Don't forget to go to onebighappy.com Check out our kits, it has the pattern and you can choose your yarn, whatever colors you want. And have fun, mix it up, get a couple of them, who knows. But anyway, join me back here for episode two where we continue on with this strawberry fluff knit along. Thank you so much and happy knitting.